Here we are again. Another cleaning episode. We get to clean some parts. I still got some stuff to strip down uh, to its most basic form, but uh, we can do some, uh, some cleaning, some degreasing, get these parts all shining and ready for the next stage, whether it's going to be painting or whether it's going to be uh, uh, reconditioning. So, uh, a lot to do. It's going to be a fun episode. So basically the frame is pretty well stripped down. I don't think I can take much more off other than maybe different bolts and stuff that I've put in. I'm going to be uh, falling over for you. Um, on this one we're going to remove a few of the, the tabs used for uh, anchoring things like foot pegs. Uh, we're going to remove the kickstand um, mounts and everything like that. I need to talk to someone who is a really good fabricator and possible engineer or whatever to find a way to, uh, I don't know if you can see these, filming on my own today, but taking these, these are where the foot pegs um, mount. I want them more forward on the frame, basically right about where the, the frame starts to bend up here. Got to be a little bit careful because TJ Brutal um, Customs has this really cool um, overflow tank that I want to use. And so I got to kind of figure out how big that is, where it's going to rest on, it typically will rest on this side um, of the frame. So I got to kind of come in figure out where that's going to be and determine where these foot pegs will be. But those are going to be grounded off. That's going to be grounded off this side as well. Some of these extra little tabs we're not going to use anymore. Nonetheless, you can already see my hands are already getting kind of greasy just by touching some of the lighter stuff. I've probably mentioned this before. <clears throat> I'm not a mechanic by any, any means. A true mechanic uh, has very great uh, troubleshooting skills, can look at something, know kind of the, the what's wrong with the vehicle or the engine um, just by listening to it or, or getting reports on what's happening. I can't do that. Um, my expertise comes in tearing stuff apart. And so far I've been lucky enough that when I've torn it apart, I can put it back together again and it works as good if not better um, than uh, when I tear things apart. And one of the tricks and the things that I, I, I do to help me with that is always making sure that I label something. Um, now, I can't just spread it out all over the garage um, and put them laying them out in different areas across the garage. Um, I just don't have the room for it. Plus, as you all know, I promised my wife she could park a car in when I'm not doing this in the garage. So, uh, um, what I've done is these are little uh, snack size uh, Ziploc baggies. Plus, I went to, uh, to the container store because there are some, some parts, there are some parts like this sprocket that just wouldn't fit in one of those snack size bags. With a Sharpie, I can write on there what it was, what's in there, where did it come from, um, any other kind of information. And again, because I'm not a certified mechanic or anything like that, I'm using my words, my language for it. If I'm really desperate, I'll go on to one of the websites where it shows blown up version of the motorcycle and all the different parts and I'll find the part and I'll call it that on here. Um, and I just still may do that uh, when I get closer to um, uh, re reassembling this. In fact, that sprocket looks like it may need to be replaced. Kind of worn. But nonetheless, um, that's what I've done. My mother-in-law, love my mother-in-law, um, she sends, whenever the girls go and visit her, um, you've probably heard me say this before, Beatrice's little mini fridge is actually my mother-in-law's uh, igloo cooler. We take it back to her when we go visit her, 
and she always fills it right up with food again as we come home. Um, and she has these, um, she, she gets these things called dream dinners. And it basically has all the ingredients in these different bags. And then, you know, you kind of think what, what to do with the bag. Don't throw it away. Um, one, it's more plastic in our landfills. But two, they're big bags. They're Ziploc. And they didn't really have any food in this one. They had more Ziploc bags inside this bag of all the different ingredients. So I just use, I'm saving that for a nice big piece that I could put in there and label it and I know what's, uh, what's in the bag. But there is something in there. So I popped off the uh, little plugs that they had. There's two sides, two holes on each side. And I've got a tool that will help me see what's inside. So this is a little Milwaukee um, scope. Stick this at least inside those holes and we can see on the screen here, color screen, um, what's, what's inside. So let's take a look. See all that rust. I guess it's just been flaking off inside here for some time, and I have no idea how I can get rid of all that crap. So here we go. We got uh, a lot of rust in there. I guess even those plugs that were in there and all the screw holes and everything like that did not, um, wasn't enough to keep moisture and water out of the inside here. And it would just build up and build up and build up and um, start eating away on the metal from the inside. Um, I don't think there's much of a problem with the integrity of, um, of the steel at this point. Um, so we're still going to clean it up. We're still going to use it. Uh, again, we may, I may end up stretching it, you know, somewhere in here. So when we do that, we might be able to get in there and kind of scrape it out a little bit. But I got to get this outside clean because just for touching it, that's what we've got on my gloves. So we're going to get this stuff cleaned up today. Try this uh, Fast 505 first and um, get it on there. It says uh, squirt it on there and then wait one to two minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this half of the frame in this and then the other half I'm going to use this purple, purple bottle, super clean, biodegradable. Uh, stuff. And then on the swing arm, we're just going to use good old fashioned Blue Dawn.
not too bad. Um, there's still some spots up in here where it kind of curves over that I've got grease and grime in. Um, but before, I wouldn't be able to do that without getting a whole bunch of grease and grime on there. Um, up and down here, up and along the back, you know. I look different. It's because I just got back from the car show. My, my neighbor showed up and he told me about a car show that was going on over at uh, a local charter school. So I had to quickly run in, get cleaned up, get as much of the grease and grime off my hands as possible. No one likes someone with grease on their hands anywhere near a really nice looking car. So I uh, got cleaned up, got into some shorts because that's the only thing I find that doesn't have grease on it. And uh, went to check out the cars. Uh, really, really fun. A good little break from um, scrubbing on the frame and everything like that. Um, but uh, while I go get dressed in back into my oily clothes, watch these cars, check these things out.
Well, that's it. That's our show for episode five. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Beatrice has decided to take the day off and uh, do her own little thing right now. So uh, I guess I get to tell you that we don't have a sticker to add to our sticker board. So please, down below we have our P.O. box. Send us a sticker from wherever you're at or wherever you're from. So we can put on our board here and uh, we'll, we'll give you a shout out. Uh, and since you're here, please subscribe, give us a like, and share with your friends.